Okay, today we're looking at multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting sign numbers. When multiplying sign numbers, if you're multiplying two numbers that have the same sign, the result will be positive. So a positive times a positive will equal to positive. A negative times a negative will also equal to positive. But if you're multiplying two numbers with different signs, that will give you a negative result. So positive times a negative will be negative. Negative times positive will also be negative. So we take similar examples to switching up the signs. Positive 2 times positive 3 will equal to positive 6. Negative 2 times negative 3 will also equal to positive 6. Positive 2 times negative 3 will equal to negative 6. And negative 2 times positive 3 will equal to negative 6 as well. Dividing sign numbers, same rules. Two numbers that have the same signs, when you divide them, will give you a positive result. Two numbers with different signs, when you divide them, will give you a negative result. So positive 20 divided by positive 5 will give you a positive 4. Negative 20 divided by negative 5 will give you a positive 4. Positive 20 divided by negative 5 will give you a negative 4. And negative 20 divided by positive 5 will also give you negative 4. Now, when you talk about adding sign numbers, I always tell my students to think about adding your money. Um, same signs, uh, all you would do is add those numbers and keep the sign. So a positive four plus a positive three would be a positive seven. And also a negative four plus a negative three would be a negative seven. So you think about your money, if you have $4 in your account, you add $3 to it, you have $7. But if you're negative $4 in the hole and then you get a charge of another $3, then you would be negative seven further in the hole or negative seven further in debt. So when you have different signs, you're gonna subtract those numbers and keep the sign of the greater. So if you have $4 in your account and you get a $3 charge, you'd be left with $1. Or if you uh, negative $4 in the hole and you're trying to get out of the hole, if you add $3 to it, you still have negative one left. So you subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the greater. And finally, when it comes to subtracting sign numbers, uh, the first thing I would suggest is to uh, convert your subtraction to addition and then follow your addition rules. So when we look at the first example, that's not that big of a deal because five minus two is three, but we really could look at it as five plus negative two, which is also three. The reason why that helps, that thought process helps is in the next three. Uh, when we look at this second example, a lot of times when we look at minus or subtraction, we always think about takeaway. So negative five minus two or negative five takeaway two, sometimes people want to do a takeaway of the negative five and two and that'll leave you with negative three. So that would be actually incorrect. Because what you actually have here is a negative five plus negative two. And if you look at it that way, then that will give us a negative seven as our final answer. Um, and then in the next two, we don't have a choice but to look at those as positive uh, problems because a negative applied to a negative will turn positive. So five minus negative two will turn into five plus two, which is positive seven. And then negative five, uh, minus negative two will turn to negative five plus two, which will give us our negative three. So those are your foundational rules when it comes to add, subtract, multiply, and divide sign numbers.